From the last step, I've got all the fins on the rocket. Um, now I want to take the shock cord here and I want to push it back through the tube so that we're ready to attach the nose cone to it. Okay, Oop, there it goes. Okay. Um, also at this time, you can decide if you're going to put a launch lug on the rocket. Now, if you're flying in competition, I recommend using a piston launcher. But if you're just flying it for fun, you're going to want to put the launch lug on it. Um, putting the launch lug on is easy. You want to put it between any of the two fins um, and six and a half inches up from the base of the, of the large tube. So I'm going to take my aluminum angle here, as I did before. This time I'm using a pencil. So I drew a, a light line on there. And I'm going to measure six and a half inches from the base. So there's six and a half, and that's going to be the middle of the launch lug. So I'll just put some, some glue on the launch lug. And this is thick super glue. You can use wood glue if you want. It just takes a little longer to dry. Parallel to the tube, you can look down the tube, double check things. Okay, wipe off any excess glue. I'm going to kick it off with the accelerator. Okay. Now, on the shock cord, this is a Kevlar cord, and you'll notice that the end of the cord often frays a little bit, um, and we can um, stiffen that up and keep it from fraying by using some thin super glue. So I'm just going to put a little bit on a piece of plastic and just dip it in, and that's going to be enough. Wipe it off, and now you'll notice it's, it's very rigid. You, know, you can see how rigid it is. Um, and then I'm going to cut it off. I'm going to cut off that frayed part, just like that. All right. Now, take the last ring out of the plywood sheet. And I'll poke out all the little holes. And you'll notice on this one that uh, the center hole is actually like two small holes put together kind of like a figure eight. Um, that's because one is for the shock cord and one is for the graphite rod. Um, and you can tell which one is for the shock cord because it's the one that's closer to the bigger holes right here. And I want to take this and put it through the middle holes. Now right now it doesn't matter it's going to go into one or the other, so don't worry about that. Just put it onto the, the shock cord for right now. And I'm going to take the graphite rod, and I want to I want to glue this down there like that. So remember this stiff part here? Well, I'm going to use probably about a half inch. Put some super glue on there. And now I'm going to wipe it off. Everything I just put on, I wiped off because it's still a little bit sticky. And if I pinch it hard enough, and you can feel it's a little tacky. Oh, it didn't stick. <laughs> I could feel it, but it didn't stick. Don't take off so much. And if you're worried about your fingers sticking to it, um, take, take the plastic bag and use that to squeeze it. Yeah, I touched the plastic bag where I put the super glue. <laughs> so I got super glue on my fingers. It'll come off. Okay, now take that ring that we put on here earlier. And this time I want to make sure that I got it oriented properly. 
and I want to push it through. And I want to get it onto the graphite shaft. And I want to just on the very end. Let's see if you can see that. Okay. Now I want to glue that into place, and I'm using some thick super glue here. to wipe off the excess. Now in your kit you'll find the little red thread and I'm going to tie that just a simple overhand knot and I'm going to cinch it down but I want to put it as close to the plywood disc as possible so as I'm putting it on pushing it down as close to the bottom as possible. Now I'm going to take my thin super glue and I want to touch it just to that knot. Like that. Okay, so now the now it's on there permanently. Now the short end of this thread I'm going to cut off. Let's see if you can see where I'm cutting here. Okay, and now I want to take it, I'm going to wrap it around. I'm going to try to do this as neat as I can. It's not critical that it's neat. You see that the, uh, the cord here is winding up. I like to do this over the edge of the table because then it unwinds the, the rocket. But it's a little hard to do it this way so that I can show you at the same time. See like there? Just winding it up. That's how you unwind it. Okay, and when you get to the end, and take your thin super glue and just Tack it on there. Wipe off any excess. I'm going to hit it with the accelerator. Okay, and then I can cut off this. Just like that. Okay. And now the nose cone is attached to the body tube. All right, so in our next video, uh, we'll start putting the blades onto the hub here.